What's up, Doombots? Tony Skinjuli here with the seven star Invisible Woman Unlock video. Now, you probably know by now, these videos are more of a reference so you can keep track of the story and the fight drop order and exactly what you'd like to do in these fights. So pay a little bit less attention to the power of my team. I believe the average power team to be able to accomplish this task is somewhere in the 120 to 150 range, but I really prefer you look at uh, the drop order, uh, the kill order, and uh, when to save certain moves and attacks uh, to maximize their value. Now, you'll probably immediately notice that there is a Minerva present, and if you see Minerva, you kill Minerva, just to make sure these fights get a little bit easier. I'm opting to use her special first, uh, mainly to make sure that there's defense ups to avoid a lot of the slows and effects these vultures could possibly do. But I am going to focus on taking Minerva out as fast as possible, and then just working the characters down as I can, prioritizing the Spider-Man with an infinite high dodge chance before anything else. All right, great. We'll save the Vulture ult for the next round because it's going to be a couple of decent characters and a ton of Mysterios. I believe Doctor Strange will immediately res. Uh, thankfully, the first character I killed ended up not being Minerva, so that's going to come in huge handy, and this AoE should do a lot of early damage. I'm not particularly worried about Doctor Strange anymore. It appears though the only major damage dealer I'm going to have to worry about is Rhino. So I am prioritizing Doctor Strange, but I wanna make sure I get that Rhino down too. Mysterios are so bad that even an infinite supply of summon versions cannot hurt you. All right, we are almost ready for the next wave drop. Up oh, there it is, and of course, it's another Minerva and a Phoenix. Now, see Minerva, kill Minerva. Uh, probably save Phoenix for the absolute last, obviously. If that means I'm gonna save this Green Goblin ult so I can try to power her down. Uh, but I should be able to get quite a bit of these guys down. Yep, there we go. I'll just, for good measure, use her ability pop off these last few guys and hopefully have enough damage to just put down the uh, Dark Phoenix when she flips. And that's it. Seven star Invisible Woman unlock, a million gold, of which 500,000 could be used to bring her up. And now you could use her on any team but the Fantastic Four because she's just better than that team. Except in war. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do my best to respond to any comments. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down there. I appreciate it greatly. Have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Sanjili, and thanks for watching.